the career fairs are useful if you're looking for jobs in startups or mid-sized companies but if you're trying to aim for like big or tier companies like google amazon facebook or something then it's like you have to apply for, from linkedin or some other websites which have openings available two most important thing you can do is uh, things you can do is first is you can there is a site called leadcode.com which has a lot of computer science which has a lot of computer science questions which you can solve in different programming languages if you practice that you will be prepared for most of the interviews that go on here most of the coding interviews and if you can crack coding interviews your chances of landing a job like increase tenfold and the second thing you can do is like do like uh, you can revise your algorithm basic algorithms basic because that is that enables you to take up that heavy course in the first semester along with another heavy course so if you get done with these two heavy courses in the first semester when you're j like relatively free in the second semester you can take up lighter courses and focus more on job search somewhere around $28 to $30 uh, per hour and that is in the Boston area but like I was in Seattle so I, I was getting paid $45 an hour people in California also end up getting like somewhere around $50 to $60 an hour like it depends what company you are in I personally don't know anybody who didn't get a co-op so so it's good because you get like six to eight months of experience working on, with some company in Boston or somewhere in the US and then in terms of internships I think I would say at least 70 to 80 percent of students get internships and because you have returned so what the general uh, process is that like people uh, land here finish a year of studies then they go on a co-op for six to eight months uh, then they come back finish another semester and then they do another internship so it's like if once you finish the co-op getting an internship becomes easier because you have some prior experience in US I would say that your best chance of getting a full time is converting an internship or co-op because getting a direct full time job is more difficult because uh, the interview process becomes that much more difficult for a co-op or an internship your inter interview process would be like an online ass assessment followed by one or two interviews versus if you are going for a full-time job you will at least have four technical interviews or like four total interviews which would, like one of them would be some HR interview but three good technical interviews before you get in so it's more difficult to directly land a full-time job the Boston area you can expect like a average of like a base pay of ninety thousand uh, dollars and if you go into the California area you can expect somewhere in the 120 range 